like this. Hi, welcome to Antagavision. It's May something, we don't, we're not sure the date, it's between maybe the 15th and the 25th. Today's episode is all about motion, brought to you by motion. Poetry in motion, not poetry in the subway, but motion of our lives and the creation that comes from within to the painting. This is Antagavision, get ready to see some good interviews. How do you figure out the prices for your paintings? I guess just what they actually go for. Uh, the road signs have been kind of a new experiment and uh, I've made a connection with a guy from the DMV in Atlanta and uh, we've done 30 of them so far so it's they seem to average a low price. They're kind of just a simple sketch really. Um, mindless thoughts. You know this is kind of a, a side project, the street signs. Um, I guess uh, in general like larger scale stuff are made of more of a the volume of like this uh, East Bumble uh, piece and kind of like Empire, um, but they I usually paint a lot larger scale, so it only makes it more difficult to ship. But kind of dedicates, you know, what actually goes to a away show, I guess. So um, it I guess it depends mostly on size, but I try to keep it cheap. Um, thinking that, you know, most people like me can afford cheap and not otherwise. Some people tell me I need to raise my prices, but I like it nice and nice and affordable. I'd rather it be in someone's house than me have, having to store everything all the time. Do you have a studio you do your painting in, or you just do that? I have a small, like, six by six little area off of my living room that I have sectioned off. Can't do anything too large, but surprisingly get a lot done in there. How do you guys know each other? It's a long, long story. Chris gave me my first job out of college. He hired me uh, as a graphic designer. He was the big cheese in the art department at this company in Atlanta. The then we all defected. It's pretty much the one that encouraged me to like actually get off my ass and paint. I went to, uh, I was an illustration major, yeah, I went to art school, Ringling School of Art Design, not to be confused with the Ringling Clown College. Uh, so that's in Sarasota? Yep. The art yeah. school's in Sarasota too? Yeah. I guess John Ringling was a big art freak and he has a museum and an art school and a little nine yards down there. So some of your work was done on uh, cardboard? Yeah. Um, I usually just paint on whatever I can find. I rarely pay for canvas, although today, long story, today I spent way too much money on the canvas at the art store. But cardboard and wood is a favorite of mine. Just whatever I can find in trash piles. So what happened with the booking of artists today, again? Um, Ethan fucked up. Now there's like, you know, 15 artists instead of two. So what happens is Ethan fucks up. Good things happen when Ethan fucks up. Yeah, look at this. It's beautiful. It's absolutely beautiful. I came to the antagonist movement about a month ago, and I met a program, my SVA program. I met Ted, who did the show. Talked to you, Ethan, showed you my stuff and got the work. It's tough. It has a lot to do with my brain. Visually, very colorful, almost cartoon-like, but I don't like to use cartoon as a word. Uh, bright, vivid colors and uh, a lot of chaos. You know, being colorblind, it's tough because it's, it's tough to, I don't know any different. So I, all I know is grass is supposed to be green. I see grass yellow or orange, so I depict that in my work. I have yellow or orange grass. You know, a lot of it, some of it is intentional with the colors, doing it just for being colorblind, but a lot of it is just, I think, 
Due to my color blindness, I, can, I like bright, vivid colors. The muted ones, the faded ones kind of blend together and I'm not as uh, into, so I like loud, bright, at you colors. Would you commit a crime for art? Mm, yeah, definitely. What kind of crime? Graffiti art I would do, uh, stickers, I don't know, anything to get it out there, I think, and anything that, I mean, I wouldn't, I wouldn't go over someone else's artwork, but just to get it out there and get people to see and stop and look at it, which, uh, I mean, I guess through, through doing it on the streets, I guess it's illegal. I think it's a sacrifice, well, you know, a, a good sacrifice to make. Is your art only valuable if it sells? Mm. No, definitely not. I think uh, art, art is a gift. When I go into other galleries or I see other pieces of artwork, you don't have to purchase it to, to keep it. It stays with you and it carries on through your artwork if you're an artist or through your music if you're a musician. I think when you do art, you should be doing it for yourself and should be doing it for the release of uh, releasing something, you know, onto a piece of paper, a canvas, or whatever medium. Sell it is just a, an added bonus. Well, the last, I saw one show before, and I think it's just, uh, it caters to young artists who express, who express their creativity in a way that's not, uh, I guess, depicted in a lot of galleries that you see all around. I mean, a lot of them are, but a lot of them aren't. Um, right, Dan Drossman, D-A-N, D-R-O-S-S-M-A-N. Humberto Verdeza. It's a group show. The canvas was found downstairs of his apartment. Apparently somebody was moving. And they left this nice canvas just out there. He saw it and took it. Well, I'm doing a portrait of this guy. And this my version of it, pretty much. I'm just making it really whimsical in the background because as you can see from the photo, it just looks really bland and boring and he just looks like he's not having any, you know, good time. So, I don't know, I, I wanted to like make it more, more alive. So I'm just drawing a bunch of stars and flowers and these weird, bird-like creatures on it. This unism. This unism. Is that what you asked me? Ism? Did you go to school for painting? Not for painting. I have to take some classes. I thought you were done. I went to school for animation. Well, this looks very animated. Yep, that's my influence. Very cartoony, weird, you know, funny. 